Hello, I'm Andres from Level Up Museum and uh, today I want to tell you some uh, ideas about uh, old arcades. Um, so maybe some of you or some of your friends have broken arcades somewhere, you know, it happens. Yeah. You're walking outside on the street, oh my god, there's an arcade. Well, of course it's not happening like this in Estonia, but uh, sometimes we find a totally broken arcade and due to the budget of the museum and of course budget <laughs> in the circumstances of the pandemic um, uh, we really want to bring back the arcade but just physically can't find and buy the original hardware so uh, this one had a broken screen uh, and the arcade itself was working uh, so we found a cheap way and solution to put a, a modern flat screen inside uh, right now inside we have a very uh, cheap and uh, well not the best quality screen, we will change it later, but just for the beginning, it's great. Uh, visitors are playing this arcade and in reality the colors are great. On the video, I don't know why, uh, the colors look a bit shifted, but in reality when you play it, it's comfortable, really comfortable. So here we used uh, a small board behind, uh, I will show you. Opa. So this is the conversion uh, board that does all of the magic. Uh, for me it was very easy. I just use, used uh, the connector of video signal that was going from, uh, from my JAMA connector. Sometimes you will have to wire this manually here. But um, in my case it was easy. And then... Uh, you just get from the same power adapter that is in your arcade uh, cabinet uh, 5 volts and voila it works uh, all of the adjustments can be done through the menu from here you can go to the menu and uh, first of all it will start in Chinese language don't worry there is an English so you can change to English language and uh, you can change aspect ratio and some some adjustments and then you have two outputs. So just in case, maybe you want to put two screens, who knows. Uh, so yeah, it's just a VGA. So any VGA monitor will work and it's great. Uh, that means you can use any $5 monitor for your tests and then tries. Um, and it's just, it's just perfect. And now the arcade box inside looks so empty and it's so easy to move. So we have the board, uh, there is a power adapter on the, on the ground here, and uh, yes, and the screen up there. I just removed uh, the front plastic and uh, left the back plastic and just uh, put four screws there, works. And uh, for this beautiful arcade, uh, uh, WGP it's called, uh, yeah. WGP real race feeling um, yeah so it was uh, it's a cabinet uh, manufactured in UK by Electrocon it's written and uh, it's a game by Taito well the cabinet is great and the game is working we found it uh, in a small town in Estonia and uh, we have it for this kind of long term rent in the museum so one day the owner uh, may take it back uh, he didn't use it it was in the countryside uh, full of hay and uh, looked used so when we tried it out uh, nothing worked uh, checked all the cables it started working but there was no image so we understood that the tube is dead and for this beautiful arcade cabinet we were um, kind of sad to just put a flat panel we used the same converter it's here uh, video signal converter but this time we used a real uh, PC CRT and it's not easy really so there is another solution for you then uh, you can use a PC CRT we found a really big one to fit uh, in this arcade but there are many complications it's really hard to take it apart it's really hard to get it in as you can see it's bigger than the arcade so we will cut the wood here and we will make like wooden box here uh, to fit it in and um, 
why I left all the metal. In the beginning, I removed the metal and all of the colors started bending. So with the magnet, I started playing with the colors, you know, bringing them back, but they just couldn't stay like the, the colors on the screen. So we had to put back all of that metal and only now mm, uh, the colors on the screen are right. So uh, yeah, don't throw them away, really. Like <laughs> they were already in the garbage bin <laughs> and we came back for them uh, just because we understood that uh, there is no other way. Like really, I tried everything, it just didn't work. So right now it's almost finished. Uh, there still works uh, with the controls, uh, but from the front, it's perfect. The image is just great. Uh, maybe it doesn't look so good on the um, on the screen uh, uh, through the camera, but um, in reality, it's just amazing. Uh, pixel perfect, clean. Everything is just great. We used uh, quite a uh, good CRT. I forgot the model, but it was it was a really hard work, and we had to rebuild everything inside, uh, glued uh, this kind of. Uh, soft wool that is used uh, in, in cars and uh, audio equipment and now it looks great. Uh, of course it's much easier to use a flat panel but for this project and this arcade we just wanted to try something uh, more complicated and I don't know if I will want to do it again but uh, again old CRT of course they are growing in price but um, you can find it relatively cheap uh, and uh, this one we got for free and then uh, the board that is uh, 17 18 uh, euro and voila uh, we have image and uh, the arcade will be used in the museum we will you know work a bit with the controls and uh, many families will be happy so those are my tips low quality repair of the arcades uh, can be quite cheap of course it's uh, Maybe not the best solution, but it works and um, maybe it will be useful for you uh, one day. Um, and of course, it's a great solution if you want to build your own arcade. So, till the next time.